with YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and these things, we've gotten to see some of the clips of people celebrating back home in bars, and it makes it a lot more special to know that that many people are behind you back home. You've only got to see what it's done to the country. You know, people jumping around in pubs and bars and cafe bars talking about the game, you know, looking forward to the games that are coming ahead, actually knowing when the times are going to be played, who the players are. I really believe when you see the sophistication and the knowledge of our fans uh, bleeding for the shirt, hanging on every movement on the field, you know, I just get goosebumps when I think about it, but we are there, and I think that it took a while to get there. But uh, we're there. I've occasionally popped down to you know, a watering hole and, and got involved with, it, with the fans and the supporters. And do you know what? It's just like being back home. And everyone is just talking soccer. Everyone's so happy. Everybody has uh, told us that they're pouring into the streets and waving flags and just going crazy. So it's awesome. I didn't realize that there was that many people out there uh, gathering in, you know, Missouri and Nebraska and uh, Albany and Tucson and it was it was really cool to see and I, I'm not gonna lie to you I did tear up and I think anybody that, that cares about soccer did as well. It's always a feeling that can bring tears to your eyes and you get overjoyed with emotion because you say this is my country and we feel the game like any other country in the world. Don't let anyone tell you an American soccer fan is any different from a soccer fan anywhere else in the world. They're not. They're exactly the same. They love their team they love the sport, they love it with a passion, because it is, in my opinion, the most passionate sport in the world. You go around now, anywhere on the States, you go into a park, before you used to see dads maybe frying a, a ball with a glove, now you're seeing soccer balls, and again, that just shows you that that generation of, of players have, have took this game to a whole new level. In the next four years, is probably the most crucial years that we will ever have as far as our growth. We understand now that the best place to develop is different for everybody. And we've finally gotten there, so I, I'm hoping that the, the progression will continue. I think we need to continue to put some of our best talents that are playing in Major League Soccer, export them to big uh, leagues. The thought process in, in sending an American player also has to be how does that player get to that next level, to become a complete player where they can bring that back to the national team. It's a matter of nurturing that and giving the right message so we can look at countries like Brazil, Argentina, Portugal, France, Spain, Holland, the way that they play football, Germany now, and not be afraid in Brazil 2014 to play a young team, blended with some experienced top pros that are playing in top leagues. We've got four years to prepare. It's a long time, but it's a very short time. And it's really gonna come down to uh, the next two years of finding the right people who are gonna have the right influence with the right people. I'm not talking about Bob Bradley, I'm talking about the system. I think there's a lot of people who uh, are not involved that need to get involved. When we have conversations, uh, when, when we're together with MLS coaches, when we're together with youth, youth coaches, we try to just give a sense as to what it's like, the, the observations that we make and the things that we see, and hope that some of those things can, uh, we can connect the dots and that we're all working together. I think coaching is something that needs to be worked on here. I think there's a lot of good guys that have just come out of the game that need to go back into the game and help these young players. So there's a lot of good people in this country that can give something back to the sport and take it forward. We always like to use that keyword, uh, grassroots. We've heard that a million times. It's all about grassroots soccer. Uh, we got a lot of grass, but we don't have a lot of roots. That's the problem. We don't have um, kids who are learning the game the right way, right from the start. The secret now is to find the four or five difference makers. Four or five, not one. Let's not throw it all on one guy's back. Let's find four or five difference makers, and then we'll make a difference. You know, soccer's on a rise. Uh, I've seen that, as I said, in the, in the short space of time. Got to keep it going, keep the enthusiasm, keep the determination, but more importantly, keep the focus. And if you can do that, it's a bright future for soccer in the US. I have never been more confident of soccer becoming a major sport in this country than this year. The greatest worry for the rest of the footballing world, soccer world, is that if this country ever get it right, if this country ever takes soccer to its hearts the way that the rest of the world has done and gets its act together, it can win the World Cup. This country has the brightest future that it's ever had, ever, ever.